back to sieging Devon. We'll check her military strength. Not really going anywhere fast. She is losing her war. That shouldn't matter much to us. Okay, let's go find her. You can kind of cheat because you can see where they are siege engines, so you know where they are fighting. We might have to defeat her foe first. Or her if we can. Just so we don't have some weird switching around of who is responsible for what. But we're not going to be able to. So we'll attack her capital. Which is already partially besieged by the rebellion. We'll take the last piece of it. Then we look for her armies. We just need to survive this for a while longer. Oh, there's still more to siege. All right, we take it from them and then take it for us. So that's what's happening. Let's siege them down immediately as it comes available. Not much resistance. Okay, so this doesn't even belong to the English. This belongs to the French. Let's see, she's up there probably. Let's go get her. Well, as I said, you can cheat a little bit. You see the siege engines and... Yeah. But also with taking this, we should have kind of even out the score a little bit. Nope, it's still 91% in his favor. Move it, move it. Be quick about it. Beating her armies should help us a little bit. Okay, we've taken a duke. Okay. We're still fighting against her despite the... With which one do we break up? Which is the oldest? Car. They have never even given us. Oh, you yeah, have given us one daughter. Let's see who gave. You gave us nothing. You can go. You're free. I think the queen switched around. Definitely a different queen now. Let's beat them again, and that should be it. Come on. Oh, so close. But it might tick up to 100% just in a moment. Because holding what this is about usually helps. There we go. Not even gonna take chances, because you could die at any moment. And there we go. Now we have a little piece of land, which is ours. Very good. That is what we wanted. land our ships and uh, stand them down so what we're going to do is we're going to take this boy who has an incapable wife and we will give him the county of Devon and everything that belongs to it which is not ideal because it might pass outside the realm what is that cap you're wearing So what we want to do is we want to stand down our troops so we can start declaring wars. We send these down. Let me check if we... Well, we're still in a truce with him. But now, as you can see, we can go and claim Anjou. Which we will be able to do 
even if we die now. Thanks to our little scheming and conniving. So that's nice. Um. Right, okay. So since we're not doing that right now. And we have to wait a little longer. What we're going to try... We're going to plot to kill him because the change in leadership allows us to declare war again since truces are with the leaders. Not anyone else. Uh, right, this is where I want to go. And there's a... Oof. The Duke of Flanders, the Duke of Berry. 99% <laughs> plot power. Ooh, wow. I have a feeling that the Duke of Flanders kind of stands to gain a little bit from the French king's death. Right. So what we want to do is we're going to watch the electors again. And we'll just invite them carousing once more. Or rather, we're going to demonically possess everyone who doesn't support us right now. Invite him carousing. And we're also going to... Ah. Can't demonically possess him. Come on. You come carousing too. You get a gift. How about it? Small little gift. Yeah. And we'll try and demonically possess our kid. He's coming to carouse. He's not. But if there's only one person coming to carouse, that is also okay. Sometimes. Because that allows us to potentially become friends with them, which would be ideal. So now we have two members to carouse. Both are against our chosen candidate. Oh no, our son could not be possessed. The King of France is dead though. So this should be a new King of France. No? Now there is a new King of France. And who would have thought it? It is the boy. Well, not a boy, but. Okay, we have a uh, non aggression pact with him. Uh, how do we have it again? Oh, it's a renegotiated one. Okay. We'll just break it. Or can we plot to kill him? Let's see. Who's joining that one? There are a few... He might, if we give him a little gift. Bit too expensive. Can we taint to touch him, maybe? Uh, we'll just break the non-aggression pact. People are not going to like it. Or we'll just wait until we die and our heir gets to do it. How far along are we? We just need one more. So if we take Anjou... We have actually finished a monarch's journey within the lifetime of the monarch it's about. That would be pretty fantastic. Well, at least we have a chance. I mean, looking at all the things he is, he might still die. What with being depressed, demonically possessed, everything else. <laughs> he is brawny. He is strong. He has all the makings. Let's wait our carousing and we'll see what happens. Plus, there might still be a chance that if he goes to war now against someone else... Like, he's... A, he fighting one of my vassals? He at war with... Down there. Dutchy. Okay, we start our feast. See what happens. Ah, very good. We have gained a friend. Which means she also supports our candidate now. 
And we have a chance to lose the trait stress depressed. We haven't. Could hold the grand tournament, which we're not going to. So he right now is already in a war. He's pretty strong, but we are going to call in our allies. That's fine. How strong are we? Not very. Not very strong, not comparatively. Uh, right. Okay, we can only break the non-aggression pact if he's at peace. We might need to grease a few more palms here. 16% doesn't get us over 100. I mean, plot still might work out, even if it is below 100%. It just takes longer for them to form and become viable options. So, yeah, we'll have to grease a few palms. And I think the sum of 66.6 .6 ducats is um, it's very good. Very good option there. Right, so we could... What oh, damn, we need, a, we need a better council. People don't like as well. Let's just demonically possess all our counselor. The Our demonic powers are not working all that well these days. Ah, there we go. There we die. So, we now play as I think the kid we wanted to play as. Goodbye, King Conan. You have lived a very long and illustrious life. He died of depression, guilty of the sin of pride. He wanted everyone to know his greatness. A wicked man, Conan, will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. Might just be, might just be. So, the realm was left in the capable hands of the region council. Long live King Mormach. Or March. Good, let's check things out. First, we set a crown focus. Worst thing in the world. Absolutely useless decision. And our council needs a new spy master. Kinda likes us. So he'll be our spy master. And everyone does things they're supposed to do. We can go ahead and improve relationships with our lords. That. We are betrothed to the Duchess of Gascogne. Is she any good? Well, sort of, but she will be old once we reach. Adulted. Alright, let's check our packs. We have exactly this one. We have only one more alliance left to us. Through our betrothed. She is not the weakest in the world, but also not very strong. Will not be able to oppose the 8,000 just now. Let's nominate a successor. Again, we want someone who's strong. Or quick or something. No great choice. Let's go for him. Children lack focus. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go on a new shopping spree for allies out there. Girls probably being the most valuable there. Ah, look. How old are you? Six. 
So this gives us a non-aggression pact with the Holy Roman Empire. And maybe an alliance. Yes, an alliance too. Perfect. So... Have a non aggression pact with Aquitaine. And also an alliance with Aquitaine. Let's check through here. Maybe we can find some remnants of the past who would like to rekindle relationships. Okay. Do you have a betrothal that you need? Distant dynasty members don't give you alliances worthwhile trying to do that. We'll just keep giving non-aggression pacts where they already exist as an option. Because it might very well turn into something. Venice isn't the worst thing in the world. But it's hard to maintain alliances with these because they switch rulership a lot. Since we don't want to do anything in England anymore, might as well try and get something going here. Which we can't. Same. How about Bohemia? A bit distant, but... Oh yeah, there we go. How old is the girl? Four. So she gets him. Not matrilineal though. Fine. Good, that's an alliance. New alliance. That's another alliance. That's another alliance. That's another alliance. Lovely. 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 Everyone is accepting. Oh, no, we already have the alliance with Bohemia. So we're now again in a halfway decent spot. Could declare war, press the claim for Anjou, and have quite the amount of troops at our disposal through our allies, and I think we should do it. We'll call everyone in because it's the last act. Um, if you want to actually call everyone in, you have this button over here. You can just click it, and everyone will be called. You don't have to go through them directly I just like to do it uh, to kind of space out how many or which allies are actually cool as to make it a little bit more manageable and not everyone needs to be in or have a bit of choice Who I upset and who I keep around for longer lasting alliances. Yeah, I'm not sure that button worked. Doesn't look like it. We might have to actually call in everyone like this. That's what we're going to do. Oh, there's the outpouring of support I would have liked before. Did you just switch sides? No. Where did your troops go?
Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm not entirely sure. It's uh, very interesting here. Because a bunch of our allies apparently were on the side of France first or something. And they switched around allegiances to us. Very odd. But there come all the reaffirmations of joining in our war. So we have our god king no longer to help us let Jesus take the reins to victory. Let's get everyone, no not everyone here, get a bunch of people here. Now we take, okay everyone who we didn't take right now we're going to send out to hunt down the enemy armies. You can tell by this little exclamation mark that they have an order already so if you click something they switch their original plan and, and do something else so we're going to stack up a little bit oh no that's a 10,000 blob okay we need to walk towards something big need to go away from here for now how do you have 10,000 troops though 12,000 he has hired a bunch all right so we will be moving away from that spot as to not be crushed with our army before we can assemble let's have a bunch more attached to us everyone attached to us and we will wait at over here in the country of our ally for everyone to come and attach actually we're going to actually wait here So while we are very strong thanks to our allies, it takes a while to get everyone together. They have taken our capital, which isn't ideal, as you could imagine. Okay, how can we get into Maine without crossing a river? Only from and we will take this little piece here wait for that army to arrive and then we okay he's just crushing down our castles which also means losing troops to it okay we'll just attack now because we get attrition here not enough supplies for us Let's quickly check that we have the right leaders. We want the center leader leading the center. And an aggressive leader on the side. So now we see how this works out. Hopefully well. Yeah. Going alright. Oh well, it was going alright. And it kind of turned a little bit. That wasn't an easy victory or a clear victory. Let's take back the besieged pieces. But there's more allies coming. Good. We will take back what he sieged from us. And then we go siege his yes. stuff. We'll force them down because they have very little garrison troops as of yet. If we waited, it would take longer for us to take it over. Good. So let's stand one army over there. I don't even know if it's attached currently. Alright, let's attack them immediately before they get any wrong ideas. 
probably moving away already yes they are so we cross a major river i think now it's just a river crossing numerical super superiority does mean a lot in this game but it doesn't mean everything you can still lose to an army that you heavily outnumber so you shouldn't just rely on stuff like that not great doesn't make for amazing tactics so we are not going to just blast down their doors because we do have a siege master this will be quicker than it should be anyway that's all right where is this 8000 strong army i keep hearing about oh if there are attached So we're nearing the goodbye to King Conan. I think we have done pretty well with him compared to some of the other leaders we have attempted so far. Let's lock him into movement so he can't stop anymore and we attack him right then and there. We beat him once more in the field of battle. And we didn't even need Jesus to take the reins. Might have helped, but we didn't need to. I just want to check real quick if there are any strong vassals in need of things and stuff. Places on the council, and we're almost done. Five percent. Let's siege this down. There we go. We pause off a piece. We stand down our troops we look as a dangerous faction suddenly emerges out of nowhere let's get a non-aggression pack with these guys going eh that takes care of factions right quick i think we have a few more people who need seats in the council no they don't Okay, let's unpause and there we go congratulations we have done it just got it all done and it was how many years after his death uh, not well more or less a year after his death a bit longer so I think we've done well. King Conan did really well. And thus concludes the monarch's journey for King Conan. Thank you very much for being with me. And probably on to the next monarch's journey ahead.